Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Ooh, we are gonna shop the stash. I filmed this like normal last week, and then I accidentally deleted the clips. Um, and I was already planning on doing a get ready with me, so that's kind of you know what happened there. But here we are doing our formal and traditional uh, shop my stash weekly makeup basket. So here are the products from last week. We got some new products we'll talk about. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, and then we'll shop the stash. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, I think I might do a formal haul because I had purchased a few new items, um, but... I will at least give you guys like a, a sneak peek of that. So I had showed you guys in my Get Ready With Me the new products and I talked a little bit about those. Uh, it was the Milani Bright Side Primer, the NYX uh, Marshmallow Primer. Um, we had the Milani Lipstick. Those we talked about together. And the, oh, these things, the Revlon Skin Lights and the elf halo no wet and wild hello hello and the elf um halo glow lots of halos here i put them on in that video last week they get ready with me and i also talked about how i like them and my feelings are still the same after using them for uh, a couple of weeks so we'll pull them out we might end up keeping some of them but one thing i did in that video that i accidentally deleted was clear everything out hundred percent and then pull some new stuff and some things ended up repeating and that's totally fine um I had pulled a lot of my brighter lipsticks so I will go over those here in a second with you guys and um I pulled the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I pulled the Urban Decay Honey I really enjoyed using both of these last week we'll just sit this stuff to the side so we can use this basket um okay this kitten from see love will stay in there i used this ombre blush by nyx and i really liked it sweet spring i still really like it the cover girl advanced radiance really like this and then we pulled the becca moonstone so um, the new items that I got was the Sephora. This is the Gleam, one of their little highlight kits. So I went with my friend to Sephora. She is one of those people that buys makeup, uses it all, and then buys more. I can't relate. <laughs> um, so she actually needed makeup, but I was so excited to be in a Sephora for the first time in over a year. Um, but I didn't know what to get, but I wanted to get something, and I've been hearing really good things about the Sephora collection face palettes. So I got the one in Gleam, and I think they have four of these little guys. I'll open it here in a second. And then I also got the Bare Minerals Concealer, and this is the Classic and Well Rested. Definitely still playing with this. I have been using it where I'll, I'll put like a normal concealer down and then use this to kind of as a finishing powder but I need to actually use it by itself as a concealer and see how I feel about it um so we'll talk about those more as we pull makeup and then from Ulta I had purchased shampoo and conditioner and so I just threw in the hyper glow kit by MAC because it was on sale and I have heard so many good things about this palette especially as people declutter products they always always keep this and talk about how great it is so I thought I would snag it while it was I think like 50% off I paid $23 for it oh I had got the elf right or die lip balm and that I used it in the get ready with me and then Ooh, I had some CVS coupons. I got this, another L'Oreal Lip Lifter in clear. I'll have to grab that out of my bag. And I got a nail polish. And total for all three things was $15. And then I got $5 back extra bucks. So it was only $10, really, if you incorporate that coupon. So I got it all for less than the price of this guy. This is the L'Oreal Infallible um fresh wear foundation and 
This was definitely love at first sight. I've worn it by my by itself. I've worn it um, to set makeup. I'll definitely do a video here soon using it, but I really think it's worth the hype. Also, I got a new nail polish. I talked about this in last week's video. Wanting one of the Sally Hansen gel neon polishes. This one is in Fuchsia Fever. Um, the color is the most perfect fuchsia hot pink color ever, but it chipped within two days, and that was even with my orally top coat and bottom coat. So I think I'll probably try it again, but maybe put down like this orally, one of the orally ones first that's like a similar color. Because the other thing is I put on four coats and it still wasn't very opaque. So maybe putting down one or two coats of this orally um, this particular one is in Nail Superfood. Um, and then maybe one or two coats of this. Uh, maybe we can work a system out there with that. But this by itself, and I didn't use the gel top coat, and that could change things. But I really like my orally top and bottom coat. They work with everything. So um, that's something to keep in mind as well. But we're going to grab all the makeup. We're going to move to the floor and just go ahead and and shop the stash. All right, I'm moving all the makeup down here. Products that stood out to me for the week, always and forever, the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. Mine is 110 Creamy Natural. It's great for under eyes. It's great for the whole face. Uh, to set it, it's great as a finishing powder. So many beautiful uses out of it. I didn't say, but the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear that I got is in 120 Vanilla, and it is a good color match for me. Um, we'll probably end up pulling it again, but we'll just set it to the side now. The, uh, Hyper Real Glow Kit that I got from MAC is in Get Lit Like a Dream. That's what it says on the back. Uh, I used this a couple of times this week, and I did really like it. My makeup has been on for a while, and I've had to touch it up quite a bit because it's so hot outside, and I just went for a walk, and I didn't touch it up again after, so we're looking a little crazy, but I think this is the highlight that you're seeing, like this gold one, um, but I have really liked this, and I want to play with it a little bit more. I put the Bare Minerals Well Rested. I did regular concealer, set it with the um, Advanced Radiance, and then just brushed this over as a finishing powder. And I think it does a good job of like making my face look really airbrushed. So, love that. And then the Sephora, um, this one is called Gleam Face Palette. It has a blush and two highlighters. And I've used... Um, the blush and one of the highlighters and I did really like it so um we'll probably keep pulling that and then I'm going to bring the rest of this stuff down okay I'm going to keep the lipsticks out but I'll go ahead and swatch and show them to you I have fuchsia for me 379 from Maybelline and these are beautiful bright late spring early summer colors so that's fuchsia for me. Ooh, can't wait to wear these. I pulled them last week, but I haven't grabbed them yet. This is Becca Petal. Um, I did see at Sephora, at least in store, their uh, Becca products were half off. So more wearable spring color right there. Then we have L'Oreal 185 Miss Magenta. This one is incredibly bright, but we love that love that and these are all great drugstore formulas and then the other one is um maybelline 100 magenta affair this is like their high shine lipstick formula that looks like that pretty similar to the other one but nice nice great bright lipstick so we're going to keep those out and those will be our lipsticks that we use for the upcoming week maybe next couple of weeks but I do want to put everything away 100%. And then if we end up pulling some of the same products, that's okay. I just think it's easier to go in with like a clean slate and just kind of see what happens. So let me put this all away, get these swatches off of my hand, and we will shop the stash over there. Okay, so I went ahead and just pulled my foundations and stuff down. Um, I did not pull any Project Pan items last week, so I'd like to 
uh, grab some this week. So I had to pull this uh, from a different <laughs> container just now. But this is Believe Beauty and this is a Radiant Primer, Primed Face Primer. I guess it is a face primer. I was thinking it was a face illuminator. But I want to use this to use underneath my uh, the foundation we're going to choose out. This is in... I guess it doesn't say like a color on it that I see from Bully Beauty, but it's an illuminating primer to give the skin a subtle glow. So I just put some on my hand and I think that's going to look really pretty shining underneath the foundation, which the foundation we're going to go back to the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is a go-to foundation, but it's also a Project Pan foundation. And I've been trying to be not so intense about Project Pan. So I gave it a little rest for a week, but we'll go back to it. Um, but I also want to pull the Milani Bright Side Primer again, because I really have been enjoying this primer a lot. And I think this would be another pretty option to wear underneath that foundation. The foundation is very much a natural finish. Um, which I think I used to like more than I do now. Now I think I really prefer like that really nice radiant glowy look. That's just what I always feel more comfortable in. So we'll pull that. So we have two primers and one foundation and I think that will be perfect for just one week of makeup. Okay, for sake of adjusting the camera, I think it's gonna be easier to just bring the bends straight down to you guys. But for bronzer, I really do love the Revlon Skin Lights uh, bronzer, but we'll give that one just a little break. I foresee me pulling that a lot throughout the summer. But the one that I would like to go to is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their bronzer and it's powder bronzer and rosewood and this is such a pretty formula very easy to work with very buildable if you mess up it's very easy to wipe it away and it has that really nice um kind of red tint to it for a bronzer so you look like you've been out in the sun you've been out feeling good you know what i mean like that's what I personally like in a bronzer. That and a little a little sheen like the Revlon one gives. But I think one bronzer for the week is going to be plenty. So we'll put those away. Okay, I am going to go ahead and pull out this Sephora uh, little palette and gleam that we just talked about. And let me swatch it for you. So it has a kind of peachy um, blush color. Uh, it looks more pink when you swatch. It has a kind of a gold highlight or champagne. Gold. No, that's gold. And then it has, um, th there's the champagne. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so there we go. You can see the highlights. And then blushes never swatch that great. Um, but we love what's happening here. And I'm excited to use that for the week. So we are good with highlighters. I think two highlighters is enough, but I do like to have like two blushes on hand as well. Um, especially ones that are a little bit, I guess, every day. Because I don't know that I will love that pink one with all of the makeup looks that I do. So the one that I think I want ah, to pull is this ColourPop. This was limited a Edition, I believe this is in meteor right question mark <laughs> I don't even know like what line this was in I feel like I can't keep up with the color pop lines of makeup but it's this very natural kind of benefit Dallas e type um, blush I don't know, it's kind of bronze, kind of natural, doesn't swatch well what blush does. But we'll pull that. I think it'll go great with every look. Okay, I'm getting a little like glowy bronze goddess kind of vibe for the week. And I'm not mad at it because what are we? It's the end of May right now as I film this, May 27th. And um, we're like, what, a month out from actual summer? So. Whatever. Okay, for bronzers, I'm definitely gonna pull the Bare Minerals 
um, I'm sorry, for concealers, did I say concealers? I think I said bronzers. For concealers, I'm definitely gonna pull the Bare Mineral Well Rested. I'm gonna try it on its own and also continue trying it as like a finishing. I tried setting my concealer with it and it was a crease mess and I realized this is probably one that you're not supposed to put a cream under. But I'm out here just playing, living my life, just having some fun, okay? But I do want to pull a uh, cream one or a liquid one. Um, and we're going to go in with Revolution Conceal and Define. And this one is in C3. And this one is a really nice um, natural like finish. It, it's kind of like thin light coverage. And it's nice and brightening. It, uh, this color is on my skin. So I think this will be nice to use for the upcoming week. So I'll have options. I can use that one. Um, I can use the Bare Minerals or I can try combining them if I just really feel like getting wild over here. Okay, we do what we want. It's our collection. We buy the makeup. We make the rules. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So... Do you know what I just realized? I think, so we'll be, um, go. so our two year wedding anniversary is June 9th. Um, and we're gonna go stay at the cabin that we always stay at for our wedding anniversary. Like we stayed there the night of our wedding and then we went for our one year. We're going back for our two year. And I'll have to pack a separate um, makeup basket for that. Maybe a travel version. I might do that. Mm, maybe I'll do that over the weekend and just do like a separate thing. Um, Cause I don't really, I really like the products I pulled. And maybe, but I really want to pull other ones to take with me. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'll think through it. Don't worry about me. I'll, I'll think through it over here, okay? But for setting powders, I definitely want to keep this L'Oreal Infallible. Like I said, I like that this is nice on its own, but it's also nice setting everything. So we'll go ahead and pull that. And then... I like the e.l.f. Halo, but I've had it for a week, so let me give it just a little break so I can focus on another new one. And let me pull this other classic, the number seven. This is the uh, triple action finishing powder in light. So we will just go ahead and get this one going for the week. Jessica Braun classic over here. Although I just watched Shade of Cassie's uh, Blush Declutter or a few of her, no, it was her empties, and she finished one of these, and she goes hard on it. She said she already had another one, and then I watched her blush to clutter, to clutter from a month ago. I like when she posts. She just doesn't, you know, she's busy. She's a busy person. She doesn't always get to post, but I like when she posts. All right, we are down to eyeshadows, and I don't have anything in mind that I'm like, oh, I should pull that. Nothing like that comes to mind. I really want one palette, pretty simple. I want something that I could get a neutral look with, but I also want something that I could get maybe like a bronzed look with. I kind of, I guess I want variety here. So Violet Boss uh, Pro Holy Grail. This one's coming to mind. I think this would be a really nice option because, oh sorry, you get pops of color, you can get the bronze, you can get the neutral, and I also don't pull this one very often. So that could be one option. Plus the packaging is easy. Do you ever go into like moments with your makeup where you're like, I want no fuss. And you know some of these products are fussy, okay? Sometimes you just don't want to deal with it. You just want something that's simple, that's not going to play you, it's not going to make a mess. Uh, uh, let's see. Does anything else? But I also want variety on top of all of that for the week, which may be maybe a tall ask, but I'm allowed to ask it, okay? Um. Oh, yeah, we just had that gold bar palette for a minute. 
Ooh, I really do like my Urban Decay Born to Run, and this would be another great example of no fuss, lots, lots of options. You can get a color option, you can get a brighter option, get a bronze option. Um, but I've pulled this semi recently, so I think we're good. I've actually, I think, done a pretty good job rotating through these. I don't know. I haven't pulled this one. The Revlon Rose Gold Chocolate Bar. I haven't used this one in a while, but I feel like this is a little fussy. It, it has a lot of like kickback and fallout. I like the looks a lot that I got out of it, but she's got some fuss to her. I still haven't used the um, Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette because it was passed along to me, but I think I want a little bit more color variety for the week. Okay. Violet, you are winning so far. Um, we have some of the like the newish mm, color pop, newish as of like December. You know, like I said, they release so much that yeah, like the ornate. Um, it's dark. I'm I'm thinking like I don't know the nude palette that one I got around last November pretty doesn't have the variety that I'm trying to go for right now it's super pretty all right Christy Lee which what we got here Ooh, but it's kind of dark you know like really like this part and this part dark you really only have these four and this one that aren't super dark like if you break it up you know so I think I will go with violet Good old Violet. I was looking over here and I want to pull out one of these chrome, tart chrome, I'm sorry. I'm apologizing to Morty who is right. Can you see him right there? I want to pull, um, Let's call this is Tarte, and it is a chrome, and what's this one called? Oh, gosh. Citrine, I think is what it's called. I like that it's, like, bronzy. Ooh, she's messy, though. She's got a little mess to her. I don't know about that. Maybe I could clean it up. Ah, look how pretty that is! Ooh. Okay, she can come with us. That is fine. Whatever. Hey, what shows have you guys been watching? We caught are caught up on Hands Me Tail. We're watching Cruel Summer. We're watching Younger. And we want to watch that 90s show that um Oh gosh, what is it? What is it? Uh Punky Brewster, she, when she was doing her show back in the 90s, she recorded at that time just kind of behind the scenes footage and it has like all like the 90s actors in it because I guess they were a pretty close group of friends um, and they made it into like a documentary and it's on Hulu. So I think that's going to be the next thing we watch because Cruel Summer and Hands Made Tale are pretty like heavy stuff to watch. So it'll be nice to have kind of some lighter options. Hopefully it's lighter. I don't, I guess I just assume it is. I don't know for a fact, but that's what we're watching. Let me know what you guys are watching and let's look at everything that we ended up picking. All right. So we'll just throw it in this basket. Our two primers, foundation, concealers, our setting powders, um, blush, bronzer, highlights, um, the little single eyeshadow, Violet Voss, and then I wanted to show you guys these. This L'Oreal Lifter, I have another one that's in a different color, but this is the uh, like clear one in pearl. Jessica Braun has talked about this a lot, but I thought this would be a nice one to throw in my gym bag um, so that when I take my mask off, because I can teach classes with my mask off, um, to put this on just to give me like a little cute, a little cute hey girl moment so I feel cute. <laughs> okay cool and then I realized I never told you guys in this video what this is this is Milani 
um, Lustful. And this is a um, lipstick that's very like nourishing and um, kind of like the Revlon lip butters are those L'Oreal ones. Uh, super nice, almost feels like a gloss, but it has tint to it. Not very long wearing, but pretty nonetheless. So that's gonna be everything for this uh, weekly makeup basket. I'll, I'll do my empties in my next video since we've been talking here for a while. But thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a great week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.